Welcome to one and all. Let's discuss some important MCQ from the chapter 12 areas related to circle. First question. The area of a circular ring formed by two concentric circles whose radii are 5.7 cm and 4.3 cm respectively is. Use pi is equal to 22 by 7. How to find out the area of a circular ring? Ring meaning Okay, this is a ring. Here, the first radius R1 is, in this case R1, what is it? R1 is 5.7 and R2, the second radius is 4.3. So, how to find out the area of a circular ring? The area of a circular ring is pi R1 square minus pi R2 square. Okay. So, this is the formula for finding the area of a circular ring. What is it? Pi R1 square minus pi R2 square. That meaning the area of outer sec circle minus the area of inner circle. And here pi is common. So, you will get pi into R1 square minus R2 square. Pi you can take an outside. So, the area of circular ring, what is it? Pi into R1 square minus minus r2 square so here what is the answer 22 by 7 into 5.7 the whole square minus 4.3 square in order to calculate 5.7 square minus 4.3 u square if you want you can use the algebraic identity a plus b into a minus b a plus b into a minus b what is that a square minus b square so 5.7 square minus 4.3 square what is that a plus b a plus b meaning 5.7 plus 4.3 5 point it is a 10 into a minus b a minus b meaning 5.7 minus 4.3 you will get 1.4 okay so what is it 22 by 7 into 10 into 1.4 and you know 1.4 into 10 what is it it is 14 and if you simplify 22 by 7 into 14 the final answer is 44 so what is the area of circular ring which is the correct option option a 44 square centimeter in question in the adjoining figure o a b c is a square of side 7 centimeter OAC is a quadrant of a circle with OS center. The area of shader region is. How to find out the area of shader region? Area of shader region is equal to area of square minus area of quadrant. Area of square. What is the formula? Side into side. That is equal to 7 into 7. 7 into 7 it is 49. Minus area of quadrant. What is the formula? 1 by 4 pi r square. And if you substitute the value, you will get 1 by 4 into 22 by 7 into. What is the radius? Radius of the quadrant? It is 7. So, 7 into 7. So, final answer will be 49 minus 77 by 2. 77 by 2 meaning it is 38.5. Five. So, what is the final answer? 49 minus 38.5. What is the 49 minus 38.5? It is equal to 10.5. So, option A is the correct answer. 10.5. Third question. The sum of the areas of two circles which touch each other externally is 153 pi cm square. If the sum of their radius is 15 cm, then the ratio of larger to the smaller radius is. So, how many circles are there? Two circles are there which touch each other externally. Suppose this is the big circle and this is the small circle. And the big one radius is R1 and the smaller one radius is R2. Okay. It is given that the two circles touch each other externally. And it is given that the sum of the areas of two circle is 153 pi cm square. That meaning, what is the area of the first circle? It is pi r1 square. So, pi r1 square plus the second circle radius is pi r2 square. 
so it is given that it is 153 pi okay and if you simplify in the first and second term pi is common so you will get pi into r1 square plus r2 square is equal to 153 pi okay and if you cancel pi on both side you will get r1 square plus r2 square is equal to 153 okay so this is our first equation what is the first equation r1 square plus r2 square is equal to 153 okay r1 square plus r2 square is equal to 153 and also it is given that sum of their radius is 15 sum of their radii meaning what is that r1 plus r2 is equal to 15 so what are the values of r1 and r2 the sum of their squares is 153 and the sum of the radii is 15 that meaning r1 square plus r2 square is equal to 153 and r1 plus r2 is equal to 15 so what is r1 if you solve these two equation you will get r1 is equal to 12 and r2 is equal to 3 check whether your answer is correct or not 12 square plus 3 square is it equal to 153 yes correct and r1 plus r2 12 plus 3 is it equal to 15 yes so what are the values of r1 and r2 r1 is 12 and r2 is 3 okay now what is the question then ratio of larger to the smaller radius so which one is the larger radius 12 and the smaller one is 3 so what is its ratio 12 divided by 3 12 by 3 meaning what is that it is 4 by 1 so what is the ratio 4 is to 1 option a is the correct answer okay fourth question in the figure triangle ACB in semicircle what is the area of shader region given that AB is 42 centimeter? What is the area of shader region? Area of shader region is equal to area of semicircle minus area of triangle. And in the figure AB is the diameter. AB is the diameter meaning the radius of this semicircle is 42 by 2. That is 21 centimeter. So what is the area of semicircle? Half pi r square minus area of semicircle half pi r square. And what is the area of triangle? Half bh. And if you substitute you will get half into 22 by 7 into radius. What is it? 21 into 21 minus half into Base, base of the triangle, what is it? Base is 42 and height, height is actually, it's radius. So, half into 42 into 21. Okay. So, if you calculate, you will get 693 minus 441. Okay. So, that is equal to 252. So, option D is the correct answer. Option D. So, what is the area of shader region from this figure? Area of semicircle minus area of triangle. Fifth question. In the given figure, O is the center of the circle with AC equal to 24 centimeter and AB equal to 7 centimeter and angle BOD equal to 90 degree. What is the area of shader region? Look at the figure. Since BZ is the diameter, so the arc CAB is a semicircle and we know that angle in a semicircle is 90 degree. Okay, so the triangle CAB is a right triangle. Hypotenuse of the triangle, how to find out? Using Pythagoras theorem, the a, a BC square is equal to 24 square plus 7 square. So, BC square is equal to 24 square plus 7 square. What is 24 square? It is 576 plus 7 square meaning it is 49. So, you will get 625. So, what is BC? BC equal to 25. BC equal to 25 meaning the diameter of this circle is 25. So, what will be the radius? Radius is 25 by 2. Okay. And after that, 
Once again, what is you have to find out? The area of shader region. Observe the figure. How to find out the area of shader region? How to, how to find out this area? Area of semicircle minus area of triangle. Plus, one more area you have to add it. This. What is this? It's a quadrant. And what is the area of quadrant? 1 by 4 pi r square. So, what is the area of shader region? Half pi r square. Area of semicircle minus area of triangle plus area of quadrant. Substitute all the values. You will get half into 22 by 7 into radius 25 by 2 into 25 by 2 minus half into base of the triangle is 7 height is 24 plus 1 by 4 22 by 7 into radius 25 by 2 into 25 by 2 okay and if you calculate all these values you will get 1875 divided by 28 minus 84 plus 6875 divided by 56. So the final answer is 15921 divided by 56 which is approximately equal to 284.3. So in your option the correct one is 284 centimeter square that is option B. Sixth question. The diameter of a wheel is 1.26 meters. How long will it travel in 500 revolution? We know that the distance travel in one rotation is equal to its circumference 2 pi r. Here the diameter is 1.26. So what will be its radius? It is 0.63. So how long it will it travel in 500 revolution? How to find out this distance? 500 into 2 pi r. 500 into 2 pi r meaning what is that? 500 into 2 into 22 by 7 into radius. 0.63 meaning you can write 63 by 100. Okay. So if you calculate you will get 1980. Okay, that meaning one rotation, the distance travel in one rotation is equal to the circumference of the wheel. That is 2 pi r. Since there are 500 revolution, so what is the distance travel in 500 revolution? 500 into 2 pi r. Okay, here the diameter is 1.26. 1.26 meaning uh, radius is 0.63. If you want, you can write 0.63 in decimal as 63 by 100. So, 500 into 2 into 22 by 7 into 63 by 100. And if you simplify this, you will get 1980. So, option C is the correct option. Seventh one. Area of a sector of circle of radius R whose so central angle is P is given by what is the formula theta by 360 into pi r square? Here the central angle is P. So what is the correct option? P by 360 into pi r square. Eighth one. The area of circle is 154 centimeter square. Then its diameter is. Area of circle is. Area of circle what is the formula? Pi r square. So pi r square is equal to 154. Four. So, R square is equal to what is it? 154 divided by pi. 154 divided by pi meaning 154 divided by 22 by 7. So, what is it? If you simplify, you will get R square is equal to 49. R square equal to 49 meaning R equal to R equal to root of 49. Root of 49 meaning it is equal to 7. So, the radius is 7. But what is the question? The diameter. If the radius is 7, what is the diameter? 2 into 7. 2 into 7 meaning it is equal to 14 centimeter. Okay. Ninth question. The radius of two circle are 19 centimeter and 9 centimeter respectively. The radius of the circle which has circumference equal to the sum of the two circ circumference of two circle is. 
So let's take the new radius is r. So what is the circumference of the new circle? 2 pi r. And it is given that the new circumference is equal to the circumference, sum of the circumference of two circle. So what is the circumference of the first circle? 2 pi into 19. The radius is 19. Plus 2 pi into second circumference 2 pi into 9. Since 2 pi is common and we can cancel 2 pi. So you will get r is equal to 19 plus 9. 19 plus 9 is equal to 28. So option C is the correct answer. The question the area of the circle that can be inscribed in a square of side 6 cm is. Suppose this is a square. One circle is inscribed in a square. So its diameter will be equal to. Diameter will be equal to 6. Diameter is 6 meaning its radius is 3. Now what is the question? What is the area of circle? Area of circle what is the formula? Area of circle formula pi r square. Here r is 3. So pi into 3 square. That meaning 9 pi unit is centimeter square. So option C is the correct one. Okay. Thank you.